Good morning, YouTube, and guys, I hope you're staying warm. Welcome back to Night's Morning Commute, the show where I take your questions and answer them one a day, every day, on my way to work. If you can, hit that subscribe button, and guys, if you want to support the channel, go over to patreon.com backslash nightsmith and uh, see what you can do. So, today's question comes from Homer McElroy. Uh... <laughs> He's one of my best friends. He's like an uncle to me. And he asked if I could make spaghetti. Uh, short answer, yeah. Um, there, there is a bit of a longer answer to that. And excuse me, I need some more caffeine this morning. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, I can boil a mean spaghetti. Um, but when I was uh, uh, younger, in high school, I was dating this one girl, uh, Julia. And... Uh, she was vegan or vegetarian. I can't remember which right now. I think just vegetarian. And she would often make her own pasta. So when I was dating her, uh, one night we actually made pasta together. She got a pasta roller and stuff. And it was really cool. Tastes fantastic, by the way. The, honestly, there's nothing better than fresh baked food. Just fresh is great. My mother just uh, uh, two days ago made uh, homemade stew with fresh bread. Oh, fresh bread right out of the oven. Oh, there's nothing better than fresh bread. But I actually have another story for you. That's related to pasta. And, and this is why I, I was so eager to talk about this. Is it relates to my grandfather. Um, when he... Uh, after grandma died, he went on like a, a three month vacation. He just couldn't stand to be in the house that she died. Which I understand. Well, she spent months dying in that house. And it was kind of like bad. Um, but while he was gone, I was left you know, by myself. I had just gotten my internship at Scrank Crafts, and so I had some money. And, um, Yeah, it was kind of strange, but I, I'll never forget the pasta. I always had pasta, primarily because it was easy and cheap. Um, but I was, I don't like plain pasta. You know, just dump whatever, uh, uh, you know, pasta sauce in there. And, nah, that's not for me. I always like my pasta sauce cheesy and spicy. <laughs> So I would always take some uh, red pepper. I would always get the three cheese pasta sauce. I forget who makes it. it ragu or something. I don't think it's ragu. Maybe presto. I don't know. But I was always, always dump one of those in there. Then I would grate uh, Parmesan cheese into the pasta sauce while it was boiling. While it was heating up. And then I'd add maybe a shot glass and a half worth of sriracha sauce. And a good scoop of uh, crushed red pepper. And oh, it was good. Cheesy and spicy goodness and noodles. Oh. Um, so I gained a lot of weight while he was gone. Eating a lot of pasta and pizza and so on and so forth. But I can I can make spaghetti. I, I, I can boil a mean pot of mean pot of pasta. <laughs> so yes, I, I can make spaghetti. I can make it from scratch. Uh, and maybe I should start doing that. Maybe I should make, make a whole video on that. Because it's good for guys to know how to cook for themselves and take care of themselves. And, you know, just to cook for the family or, you know, cook for your wife or your kids or whatever. Uh, and a lot of guys don't. So, yeah, I guess that's, that's my thought on all that. Now, before I sign off here, I, I do want to talk about last night. Um on my way home to work. It took me two and a half hours to make a 15, 20 minute drive. It took me more than that already just to get to work uh, this morning after everything's cleared off. But if you guys don't know how to drive in snow, stay home, stay somewhere. Because if you don't know how to drive in snow and you get stuck out in a snowstorm, you're a danger not only to yourself, but to the people around you. With that being said, I know people get freaked out. Incidents happen. So you need to prepare yourself. Go out and, you know, a day after a snowstorm, 
and get into a abandoned parking lot and, and just play around, feel how the car moves, you know, when it's sliding, when it's under snow, how you accelerate, how, how you brakes, e-brake it, put yourself into a, a, a spin, spin out of control for a little bit in an open parking lot. Uh, and that's probably my best piece of advice because you need to learn how to drive in snow. You need to know how to drive in snow if you're in an area that snows. And, you know, playing around is fun, so there's that. Uh, I'd also like, and they'll probably never see it, but whoever did the big hill in Clark Summit last night, thank God for you. That has been the bane of my existence ever since I started driving. And last night we had like 8, 10 inches of snow up here and it was all ice and shit. That snow, that, that hill was not only perfectly clean, but it had water freely flowing down it. It was so warm. Uh, that was probably the cleanest, cleanest part of road in all of northeastern Pennsylvania, New York, anywhere. So whoever did that, thank God for you. Um, seriously. So thanks for watching, guys. If I, if you if you like this content, if you like any of the other stuff I do, hit that subscribe button down below. And remember, Patreon.com backslash Nightsmith, and even a dollar a month helps. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you Monday. <laughs>